Now, the federal minimum wage sits at $7.25 an hour. But if an Oklahoma Senate candidate gets his way, that could go down to zero. KSU's Brian Shlonsky explains why T.W. Shannon wants to get rid of the federal minimum wage. His story is new tonight. I've had to work for a living all my life. While working, Albert Hill has seen the minimum wage go up. But now he says he supports doing away with it altogether. Our people need it. Cost of living keep going up. Hill isn't alone. Also pushing to get rid of the federal mandated minimum wage is U.S. Senate hopeful T.W. Shannon. I absolutely oppose a federal increase of the minimum wage. Under no circumstances should the federal government be dictating to the states uh, how they handle the wages. You know, I think the market should drive those decisions. Right now, the federal minimum wage is set at 7.25, but 22 states have set higher minimum wages, meaning workers get more money. Oklahoma isn't one of them. Shannon says his stance is all about pushing back against the federal government and what he calls its intrusion into states' rights. The cost of living is so different among the many states uh, that I think state governments are in the best position to make those types of decisions. While many Oklahomans agree, we probably have less people out there who need more help. Others don't, saying the mandated minimum wage is a good thing. And cutting it out raises too many questions. Let us know what what we're looking at as far as uh, employment options. Do we have a lot of doors open? Shannon tells me another concern he has with raising the minimum wage is that small businesses across the state would end up cutting jobs. Brian Shlonsky, KOCO 5 News.